Hey guys, I know I usually don't sit here and talk to the camera, but I felt that I needed to to address just my gratitude for everyone who's um, just been with me through all the cringy moments from when I started vlogging to the less cringy moments to now, this new season, at season three of The Adventures of the Lemmy or Thao, however you want to call it. With this new season, I want to bring tutorials, I want to bring kind of interviewee talks, I want to bring, there is weird and fun fun segments that I think you'll enjoy. I know I will enjoy making them. So guys, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for subscribing, for liking and watching, and here is season three. Francisco. We lost Mino in his car, PT Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> Now all that matters is that the adventure continues. Well, guys, welcome to season three. Last year there was traffic, this year there's not as much traffic. Guys, there's a lot of traffic. We're supposed to be going 65, but we're not even hitting 10. I don't know, what do you got to say? I'm very, 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 very tired. Hungry, thirsty, I don't know what to say traffic thoughts take that off me I want to cry <laughs> well, okay first of all it wasn't last year we oh just, my god yeah that's we right just, we just had like a 10 minute discussion about it <laughs> so we, I kept saying last year like because I thought I've been I've been vlogging for two years it's actually uh, for I mean one year it's actually been two years uh, this uh, this retiro de varones if you don't know what that means in English it means a uh, men's retreat men's it's about my, my church is basically having a fancy camping trip for all the men at our church and we're gonna go up to the mountains and praise Jesus like you know good disciples we got all the gear you know because that's how we roll so the the retiro de varones or you know the men's retreat i'm gonna say retiro de varones because it's easier for me to say if you don't know it i'm hispanic i don't even think i've ever mentioned it you should have that on your bio hispanic blogger hispanic blogger yeah this retiro, this uh retiro de varones uh hallmarks my beginning of vlogging i know i put it one extra video before this which was uh young carlos's birthday two years ago but this he was turning two uh, I started vlogging in the Retiro de Varones la two, two, years ago. two years ago in October. What I'm trying to say is, welcome to season three. Okay, so we made it to the campground. We are here. It didn't take, how long did it take us, Luis? Two hours. It took us two hours to get here. Uh, there was a considerable amount of traffic for a bit, and then we did make a, uh, a stop or two. The berry room's up there. No, no, no. She said we have the berry board room. Board room? So. Are you sure this is theirs? This is what they said we have. Maximum occupancy, 480. I don't think we, they booked a room for 500 people. She told me the berry room. Yeah, there's one upstairs. No, this is the rec room. This is Lauren Berry Heritage Boardroom. Hi, Lydia. I am uh, Luis. I'm with ICDM. I think I just spoke with someone. Yeah, what room specifically do we have? Because there's like, there's an enormous one, and there's like a small one, and I'm not... Yeah. No, thank you. Hey, other rooms. They're dope. So, come in. This one's a joint room. So, hello, nobody. So... Two bunk beds, four rooms, mirror, hanging stuff, sink. You got a shower in here. You got a shower in here. 
nice old camp like. Then back here, you have a toilet to do your business. Have you ever gone camping and then it's like 3 a.m. and you really gotta like drop one and you're just like, I really don't wanna walk in the woods owned by myself? You don't have to do that with this. It's amazing. So yeah, we're here, we're set up, we're done. We got our rooms and it's gonna be a great weekend. I can't wait. Remember two years ago when I started vlogging, you and me together? Oh yeah, we came last year, we were the no, first No, two one. years ago, wasn't yeah. last year. You excited for this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm my last, my middle name is ready. Okay, update. Everyone's here. Fortunately, I'm sharing a room with him. Fortunately. Unfortunately. No, he said fortunately. Oh God, Bless you excited? Uh, I was till I found out I'm sharing sure rooms with you. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm excited. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. That's what's going on. Um, <clears throat> I just finished talking to my wife. The FaceTime call just cut off. We're about to start our first service, so I'm trying to my best to concentrate. I know I'm, I'm on my phone and it doesn't look like it, but. I'm about to read a Bible verse, and Ooh, that's what I like. Us, us, that's what I like us. to do before I I start uh, just playing and worshiping the Lord. Why don't you read so, to us first? Yeah, if I can, do I just read it in English? Yeah, go for it. I can translate it. I'm in. Okay, right here. First Samuel chapter twelve, verse twelve. I love that. You wanna read it? Uh, now you go for it. Okay. You read it. Chapter 12. And when you saw that the Nahash, the king of the Ammonites, was coming against you, you said to me, no more of this. We will have a king for our own ruler when the Lord your God was your king. Here then is a king marked out by you. The Lord has put a king over you. If in fear of the Lord you are his uh, servants, hearing his voice and not going against the orders of the Lord, but being true to the Lord your God, you and the king ruling over you, then all will be well. But if you do not give, but if you not give ear to the voice of the Lord, but go against his orders, then the then the hand of the Lord will be against you and against your king for your destruction, as it was against your father. Yeah. So what I was reading there, basically the key is there. We read it on Monday. The key there is First Samuel twelve fourteen and fifteen, mm -hmm. and I'll have you guys read it and maybe comment a message down below down on his. Description. Oh, no, sorry, comment section. Comment section. Yeah, that's what it is. So, hopefully you guys can do that. Okay, so after we got here, everything's been a rush because, you know, we got here, we started setting up, and then people got here. Um, so basically what happened, we got here and we, we set everything up. And then we're just like waiting for people to get here. It was, that was um, just really chill, like nice time to unwind. Um... First of, first off went um, we had uh, so we ate dinner then after that we had service We didn't really I didn't record much in dinner because I was starving so I had to eat something and I just had to like kind of focus on that and then um, for service just it was like uh, I'm not touchy su subjects like they're really good subjects. But nothing you really want to record. So just there was a couple clips that I asked Mono to record for me because I was playing, as you can see. And then uh, right now, it's after everyone's just chilling. They're making coffee. I'm just kind of waiting for that to get ready. But I don't want. I don't feel like standing. My feet are hurting, so I'm laying in my cot, right over my jacket. And that's for day one. It's been really dope. It's been really cool. I'm excited. I'm having a really good time. I just can't wait for what's happening. It's it's gonna this weekend's gonna be dope. This weekend is going dope. It's it's amazing. I'm tired. So the guys are getting ready to go to sleep, so have a good night. We are not getting ready to go to sleep. Uh we just woke up. <laughs> Uh, not just woke up, but um, we've been up for 10 minutes maybe. Mm -hmm. We were asleep Yo. like at 3.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Talking. I regret nothing. You? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. No, no regrets? <sighs> so we're up at 6 a.m. for prayer. It's going to be lit. Because apparently some brothers in the other rooms were complaining that they had bed bugs. Well, be bed bug bites. Bed bug bites. Obviously, if there's bed bug bites, you're gonna have bed bugs. And I'm just checking my bed just to make sure because that's kind of trippy. We survived the 6 a.m. prayer. What, hey, what time did we go to sleep though? It was like four in the morning. No, it wasn't. It was like two. 
No, it was later than two. Hey, turn off the light, Chris. No. Dude, Chris. Oh, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'll be good with like a ten minute nap. Hey, is this light good? Heck no. There you go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting ready to shower! Woo! You're too loud. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know what's the last piece I left off on, but I think we were in the sanctuary. And I didn't even vlog, I was just showing what was happening. Yeah, it's been kind of hard to vlog just because... It's I mean, super busy. You're in a retreat, you kind of forget about a lot of stuff. You're just kind of like in the moment. Yeah, it's really hard to just, you know, grab a camera. And but we just ate dinner. We're packed, we're on our way to, I guess, sound check or practice. This hill always makes me go breathless. Thank but you. he's starting <laughs> vlogging, yeah. hopefully. We'll see what the, how, how that goes. Uh, we just finished the last service. It was great. It was amazing. I don't know what time is it because my phone is shining me right now because it's not super dark. This last service was uh, was great. It was amazing. It was just it was just heavy in presence. It was it was just it was. If your church ever has a retreat, go to them. If you go to my church and there's a retreat, you can go to it. They're amazing. Just vlogging in this video and where this vlog has been subpar, but worth it because I've been fixated on other things, not vlogging. Because I came here not to vlog. I didn't come here to vlog. It was just mark a big occasion for me. I didn't come here to vlog. I came here to receive. And that's the biggest part for me. I'm happy I came. I'm happy of what I vlogged. And hopefully I can make a good enough story that I can convey to you guys. There's a bonfire going on right now, which I want to go to now. So, um... I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. I know it's really long, but I just hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. But in the meantime, guys, see you in the next video. So good night, moon. Good night, cow that jumps for the moon, and good night, vlog.